Hi there, and today I'm making yet another tanker for my railway. So first there was Cadbury's, then there was Coca-Cola, and finally there was Milka. Now this last tanker I've wanted to make for a while, but involves the colour gold, and not many pieces in Lego come in gold, so I've been doing some searching and trying to work out how to do this tanker, and I finally worked it out, so today we're going to build it. Now when I was younger I had an N-gauge model railway. Most people are familiar with the 00 gauge, that's the one that seems to be most popular in the UK, but N-gauge is about half the size of that, so it's really quite little, and one of my favourite trucks I had for that was a Duracell truck. I had about four or five of these and I used them on my cargo train, and that's the tanker I'm going to build today. Now the base of this tanker is very much like all the others, nothing amazingly difficult about it. I'm basing it around this 2x16 plate, which I'm going to add wheels to. And then of course add our standard buffers on the end of that. And I'm going to fill the gap in the middle with a 2x12. Then we're going to add some plates on the end to it, these 4x6s, one on each end. And then a 2x8 in the middle. And then we've got a nice rigid firm chassis. On one end I'm going to add these ladder pieces. So a maintenance minifig can climb up there and do whatever he needs to do. I'm adding these grill pieces under the ends, and they will just support the tanker as I did on some of the other ones. And then this end, like with the cabbage one, I'm going to have some display signs. So I'm putting these plates with bars on them, and we're going to clip on these road sign pieces in black. They did have a computer panel piece uh, print on them but I've rubbed that off with a rubber and they're gonna sit like that. If you remember the cabbies one had some dairy milk signs on it and we're gonna have one of those on each side. But for that I thought it's Duracell. This may tank and maybe carrying battery acid so I found these two pieces with some hazard warning labels on them. They're not very well stuck on, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go upstairs, heat them up with a hairdryer, which will soften the glue, peel them off, and then add them to these two panels. And here we have our newly replaced warning signs on the sides of our tanker. Now the only suitable gold part I could find is this 1x2 curved slope in metallic gold, and effectively this is a quarter of one of these which I've used these curved slopes, I use them on the top of my Coca-Cola tanker and also the roof of my um, Wessex electric train. So four of these will make up one of those, so if we get a 1x4 plate and just add them along like that. Effectively that is the same as one of those, so all we need to do then is make an awful lot more. So next I'm going to start building up one of the sides, so I'm using these plates, this is a 4x6, and then lots of these black curved slopes to put them along like that, then a 4x4, and two more curved slopes, and a 4x6 on the end, and then of course our gold pieces go on the end like that, and I think that is already looking pretty much like a Duracell battery. Now I wanted to make sure, especially at the gold end, that the gold went all the way around the cylinder. So effectively we needed uh, studs on top, studs underneath, and studs on side all the way round to get four of these. So the support structure for this is using an awful lot of these brackets. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a bunch of them to this 4x4, four four, like that, and support it with a plate in the middle. Then I'm going to make another one of those. Then we've got a 1x8 and we're going to have four of these 1x2 brackets with the studs on the side along the top. And that's going to go there like that. Then we've just got two 2x8 two plates, squash them together. That goes in the middle. And then the whole of that sits on top like this. So that's all now sandwiched together, and I've got its counterpart here. So they are now the sides of our truck. Now on the inside of this tanker, we're gonna have a wonderful array of colors, but that doesn't matter. None of it will ever get seen, but I'm using these one by two by one and two thirds 
bricks and they've got studs on the top as normal but they've got four on the end but more importantly they've got studs on both sides so that's going to be attached to here and here and then two more at the other end and then on top of them we're going to put some two by fours in this wonderful salmon color which came from a pick a brick cup which i don't really need and then some blue ones on top and then to give it a bit more strength we're going to put this two by 16 across the top to tie everything together next we need to attach this structure to our base so what we're going to do is add a two by four that uh, sorry a two by eight brick in the middle and then on top of that we're going to add some one by four standard bricks but with studs on the side so two on this side and two on the other side and I just realised I just added this centre structure upside down. As you can see, we've got studs all the way along the top, and that's for the roof. Underneath, we've only got studs at each end, and that's for the underside. So if we spin that round and put it this way up, then you'll be able to see that these other slopes can go underneath there, and then that's going to be a give our curve underneath. So we add the black one to the other end. And we're starting to look like a bit of a curved tanker. So we finally attach this to the underframe using these plates attaching to these bricks here. Then we attach the other side and again the studs on the brick there will attach to this plate here and also these studs will then attach to the curved slopes which are facing down giving the underside of our tanker. And with that on, we're more or less finished. And actually, I'm quite surprised how rigid this is. I was concerned that it might be a little bit flimsy in places, but it's pretty solid. You can squeeze and um, manhandle it quite well, and no bits are falling off. So that's pretty good. So next, we need to do the top. Now, if you've watched my previous tanker videos, I'm not going for the look of the uh, Cadbury's and the Milka tanker with the hexagon shape on the top, sorry, octagon shape on the top with the ladders. I'm going for the uh, way I did it on the Coca-Cola tanker. And here are the pieces. So first of all, we're gonna put a two by six right in the middle. And we're gonna put some one by six tiles next door to it. So we're gonna have as few studs showing as possible. Let's give us a bit of a smooth look. Then we're gonna do these wedge plates two on that side and two on the other like that then like i said get rid of those nasty studs put a jumper plate in the middle with our steering wheel control piece put a one by two tile oopsie there goes the steering wheel one by two tile on each side and then these modified plates on top and with the steering wheel piece retrieved from the floor, all we need to do now is add these slopes. Now, of course, these slopes are one by four, so um, we'd have a little bit of a gap there. So we're using these arch one by fours to go on there. Sorry, these two by fours, I should have said. To go on there. Again, another one by four double curved slope on this end. And then our all important gold pieces on the other end. Now with all my other tankers I've used this dish piece on the end which is six studs across. Now in the Cadbury's one I used a dark purple one because it's the same colour. However it didn't come in the um, lavender or the red so I used white on those and of course it doesn't come in metallic gold so I had to be a bit more creative. Now for this end fortunately it does come in black so if we just add a black two by two plate on the end then we can add our black dish piece and then through the hole in that dish you just see the black plate so we've tidied up this end quite nicely but like i said the dish piece does not come in gold but batteries on the end fortunately are silver so if we add a plate to this i've got a light gray dish and then a light gray round tile so hopefully that looks a little bit battery like so the build is complete but no tanker would be complete without some cut vinyl graphics to go on the side Until now, the Coca-Cola tanker was definitely my favourite, but this has 
<laughs> completely surpassed that one. I am so pleased with how this one has come out. The vinyl on that is just looking so good. I think just the contrast of the black and the white with the gold on the end just looks superb. I'm really pleased with how this one has turned out. The only slight anomaly is that on Duracell batteries, the D of the Duracell is always at the gold end. Unfortunately, this side, that can't happen. So I've had to stick the logo the other way around. So I hope Duracell don't sue me for that one. So here are all four together. And this is in my personal choice of favorite. So I think Duracell one has come out uh, my favorite. Then Coca-Cola. I do love the purple of the Cadbury's, but I just think uh, these uh, pivot at the post ever so slightly. And then Milka, still good, but probably my least favorite of the four. But please let me know in the comments below what you think. Which one's your favorite out of these four? If you've liked this video, please do also give it a thumbs up. And of course, please subscribe for more LEGO videos.